This is part two in a two-part series of vSAN Data Persistence Platform. In this demonstration, we examine how maintenance mode operations in vSAN are coordinated with various service partners like Minio or Cloudian, where the app resilience is built into the service. Using the same instance created in part one of this series, we're going to make sure that the application is online and healthy. By clicking on the Health tab, I can see the server instances are healthy and all the volumes are bound. If I click on the summary of the console, I can see this is running on 141-106. So I'm going to put that host in maintenance mode. And select Ensure Accessibility. Now at this point, if app resilience was protected by vSAN, vSAN would check storage policy-based management to verify there were sufficient vSAN objects available to keep the application up and running. This resilience still happens, but at the application level. If we look at the recent tasks, we can see a few things happening here. As Minio prepares the host to go into maintenance mode, it notices there's a tenant on the host, zone 0-2. This is part of the archive instance that I created previously. And since by design, both compute and storage have host affinity, instead of migrating this data, Minio will simply delete the VM containing the zone and use the other zones to maintain resilience. Next, Minio determines that the supervisor control plane, that console VM, is also on the host. This is a stateless service and therefore can be easily drained and run on another host. Minio will copy the configuration from the original console to the new console, power on the new console, power off and remove the old console, and then notify vSAN that it's now okay to put the host into maintenance mode. Now that the host has been successfully put into maintenance mode, there are a few places to go to view the health of the instance and the supporting disks. For example, in Skyline Health, there is a storage plugin for Minio. Here I can see the name of the instance, the namespace that it belongs to, how many disks are online, how many disks are offline, and based on the fact that one of the zones is not available, it says it's about to lose quorum. So let's jump into the object store and verify that it's still up and running. If you've watched part one of this series, you may recall I created an object store called Archive and uploaded a folder called backup.zip. I can see the interface and the file is still available, and I'm able to upload additional files. So let's see what happens when I take the host out of maintenance mode. The first thing that happens is Minio starts the service on that host that was in maintenance mode and spins up that zone, that native vSphere pod. And once that's up, it'll attach the container volumes. And once the volumes have been attached to that zone 2 pod, Minio can then reestablish quorum. I'll initiate a quick retest of the Skyline Health. All disks are online and I've got a status of healthy. And as I mentioned earlier, we can see this in Skyline Health, or we can also go back to the Minio interface and view the health of the tenant. And as we can see here, all zones are running and the instance is healthy. The VMware vSAN data persistence platform provides a framework for modern stateful service providers to build deep integration with the underlying virtual infrastructure, leveraging the Kubernetes operator method and the vSphere pod service. For planned infrastructure operations, such as maintenance mode and lifecycle management, DPP ensures that the modern stateful service is aware of the upcoming infrastructure operations and can coordinate activities with the infrastructure to ensure application resilience and simplified operations and management. 